Oh, aloha everyone, Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com. I decided to go ahead and um, make a public video just to let everybody know that the market strength continues. We've been on the right side at Big Wave Trading for a very long time. We did not panic during this sell-off here. We did not panic during this sell-off here. And that is why basically for this entire recent move higher, we've been fully invested. I keep running into the same problem though. <laughs> way too often for my liking and that's just that these gap ups in the market send these stocks above my good to cancel buy stop limit levels and I can't get long every name that I want to get long and while a lot of people tell me that sometimes the amount of long signals seem overwhelming for them from my website I want to remind everybody that's nothing compared to what I see from day trading rooms listen I day trade also I am not nearly as good at day trading as I am with swing trading because everybody's personality is different and I seem to be a, mo a more of a slow thinker when it comes to my trading and so that being said I could have 20 new long positions for tomorrow's trading session which I don't and if 20 of them don't gap down and then trade up and through the good to cancel limit order it's just 20 trading ideas there's no long signals they have to trigger and even though during markets that are not completely lined up like the one that we are in will cause me to hold many positions, I always say 10 stocks, 10% of your capital in each, never lose more than 1% of your account capital per trade. And I always give you my exact good to cancel buy stop limit levels and good to cancel sell stop levels. So anytime you're watching these videos and they're like, Jesus Christ, it's a lot of names. Listen, I day trade. I follow day traders all day long on TweetDeck. I have scanners intraday that are throwing up stocks left and right. That is 10 to 100 times more overwhelming to me than the end of day stuff. And using my methodology, I've never had one member ever say, oh my God, I've lost it all. I don't have any more money. I can't trade anymore. I got to leave because yeah, I've blown all my money with you. Not one time. Not one time since we started this website around 2008 and 11 years have we had a single member ever say, I lost it all. Now granted, Using my methodology, you're not going to grow rich and get rich overnight. But considering that 95 out of 100 day traders fail, I have no idea why so many people are so focused on this one time frame when there are possibilities like I'm about to show you in this video lesson. So first off, I want to let everybody know that the OSIS is one of the public long signals that I gave to everybody. And as of this weekend, the signal was true. But here's how a signal fails. Boom. Today. Closing below the signal dates, low a day, on heavier above average volume, and it already lost its green bop. That's it. So going into today, my good to cancel buy stop limit order of 102.02 was still on the books. And if there was enough capital for that trade in my end of day account, and if it would have triggered, I would have gotten long OSIS. Following today's session, that order is canceled in Interactive Brokers. OSIS is no longer a trade idea. Throw it. Throw it away. No good. Now. I'm going to go give you another new long position that I'm going to attempt to take, hopefully tomorrow or some point within the week. I would love to see most of these long signals that I am now sending orders out there on consolidate before triggering because this market it's just gotten ahead of itself, man. Markets love to fill gaps. We still have that 10, 10 to 10, 11 gap there. And now we have these two little gaps to deal with. And markets just don't let gaps last and i want to remind everybody it's never um, a totally bullish sign whenever the volatility index moves up when the market moves up it's now done that twice in the past i think three sessions or four sessions i can't even remember what it is but i know for a fact that the vix has been up two of these last four sessions when the market so i think it was probably this day right here and then today the vix is up with the market up normally that means the market wants to pull back it could also mean it's extremely bullish and the market just keeps melting up but either way it's something to pay attention to so with all the new long positions like this weekend i gave two new long signals and i told um members of the, or, or individuals that are watching this video to that I'm not going to give them to anybody because they're too risky. Hell, they both gapped up. Um, my orders were canceled because remember, I only want these stocks up and through my good to cancel buy stop limit orders. So it didn't happen. So before we look at that new loan position, once again, let's review some of the losers and some of the winners. Actually, hold on. Let me switch the wallet.
All right, everyone, my apologies. I wanted to switch the watch list page so you can see whenever I got long these names I'm going to go over. So two of my worst positions today was MTH and EDAP. And as you can see, it, it, it's just luck that the two worst names today are winners already on my end. But just want to show you what happened. MTH today sold off below the 50-day moving average on heavier above average volume with that red bop. Now I've moved up and consolidated all of my good to cancel sell stops to one cent below the 23rd's low a day, which is 68.71. It's basically splitting hair, so 69.54. But since I don't just have one share left, I'm doing it anyway. 50% of my remaining st stops on this position. So if I have 20 shares still, 10 shares go one cent below Monday's low a day. 10 shares go one cent below the 23rd's low a day. But from the initial long signal, this is what happens when you buy right. Still works out well. It's an 8% gain on an end-of-day basis. So if you decide to take all your profits now, waiting for a legit sell signal, this is it. You take your 8%, you get out of here. Um, there are, trust me, there, there's some losers out there. UTI was, <laughs> UTI was another bad one today I wasn't going to go over, but you can even see here it's for a gain. So um, there are losers, and they happen more often in bad markets, uh, but there's not as many signals. You don't get 5, 10, 20 signals, which we don't get 20 a day. I'm just exaggerating. But I, <laughs> I want to remind people that think that there's too many signals on my end. From this moment here in October to this moment here in December, we only average one to two signals a day, and if half of them even triggered, it was a miracle. And during this sell-off here, there was a full rolling five days with not one single long signal. So when the market is weak or there's problems and the charts don't look good, I don't get signals. So just keep that in mind whenever we review all of these stocks that we're about to go over that for some odd reason, a lot of people think that uh, it's overwhelming. Trust me, it's not. You need to focus, and I try to point you to the best ones and give you those kind of setups. But once again, EDAP. So with EDAP, it ch I don't know how many. Let me, I can go look at my other computer and tell, tell you how many stops it hit. Um, at, right at the open, you got to realize I'm on Hawaii time, so you got to subtract five from East Coast. But at 430, 450, 450, 450, 04, uh, four seconds afterwards, and at 532, I had all of these stops on EDAP hit. 475, 463. 453, 452, 436. So that's how many stops I can carry on the books in, in one name. Like, that's just, it, it works for me. It's fine with me because of the size I'm putting into the trades. So I want to let everybody know, EDAP, this was the long signal. I believe we've gone over it in past public videos. There's still a 39% gain before today's session. I mean, that's just, that's lovely. But right here, this is where my final stop is, 410. This is where 50% of my stop is now at 432. So once again, let's pretend I have 20 shares. 10 go one cent below today's low a day. 10 goes one cent below the 925 low a day. And that's how you protect profits on the way up. Now, before we get to the one new long position, I want to give to um, the public members, let's just review some of the winners from today's session and show you what's possible when things work right. INMD, since the long signal here, the very next day is whenever I, I enter the position, trades up and through, I get filled. I don't always get filled, but when I get filled, I throw it into this watch list. 23% gain since the signal date in a very short amount of time. And like I always tell everybody, if you go in size, which I'm not right now, I would love to. I would love to get that signal that makes me go, oh my God which I don't have right now, but 5%, 10% of my account capital. I guess I could go into the secondary accounts. I have day trade. I have multiple day trading accounts, but the issue here is I do not go into those accounts. Well, I got to bring up Telchart version 18, so I won't do that. We're going to stick to this one. Only when my monthly timeframes are in alignment with the weekly and daily timeframes. Right now, time segment volume is negative below its moving average on a monthly time frame. Has been for 16 months on the Russell 2000, 12 months plus on the S&P 500. So only then would I go into the other accounts. But INMD, there's a winner. SPAR, we, and we've gone over that one before. SPAR, we've gone over this one before. I've even added to it recently. It's now up 57% since its original entry. And once again, we can just draw an uptrend line. I mean, this one's 
that one's pretty loose, but it is an uptrend line. If you want to get even more aggressive with your trailing stops, if you took size, here's another uptrend line. You hold on and ride this one higher until it closes below it. But once again, nice, nice, you know, gain in a short amount of time. MNK, 50% in a very short amount of time. Why does everybody feel the need to day trade? I mean, even I do. Listen, like the Tesla, call, the Tesla calls that I was looking at today, watching them move 70% after I balked in the position. The JNUG short that I wanted to take today that I balked on once again because the setup wasn't good enough for me, that moved 3% intraday. Heck, yeah, you can compound that over and over and over. Wonderful. But I, it, it's the stocks I normally like to play are stocks like Xnet and ELOX and ISEE and SES. So, you know, it's a little bit more hair-raising than buying MNK and holding it for multiple days at 50%. Whereas if MNK doesn't work in the era of zero dollar commissions, you can cut your loss at break even on everything. You could be wrong nine out of 10 times, never lose money, hit one of these, make a ton of money. So just keep that in mind. Ship is another one, another one that hit new highs, post signal highs following today's session, 36% gain. ALNA, just want to show you guys, 32% gain in a very short amount of time. These are daily charts. STKL, we've gone over a few times. This keeps moving higher. 48% gain in a very short amount of time. And we're just going to wrap it up with that. So as you can see, a lot of good stocks out there. Now, here's the new long position. One of a few that I have for Tuesday. But this is the one that I'm stalking the most. So not only do I want to play this via stocks in my end of day account, which we're about to go over how I'm going to set that up, but I'm also looking at intraday setups I'd be either TTM squeezes, the nine moving, uh, nine exponential moving average crossing up above VWAP after a series of higher lows and higher highs with the nine EMA above the 21 EMA to be entering call positions. I would like to trade Tesla calls expiration date November 8th at some point this week if I can get a proper setup. If I don't, I don't. But this is what I'm doing on an end of day basis. So Tesla is a new long position. It's an earnings winner. And it has a 26% of its float short. Perfect combination for me. And it's also in my perfect speculator scan, which is my top of the line, highest quality scan based on the book, The Perfect Speculator by Brad Kodish War. So all of these reasons are why I'm going long Tesla. You can see it's been consolidating, starting to round up. I assume that this one's even got more shorts in it since the gap up that are 100% sure this thing's going to zero. It's not. So the game plan with Tesla, I got a candle over candle and a hammer candle off this strong price support on heavier above average volume. And even though BOP slightly, is slightly lower than the session before, the overall trend in BOP is higher. The game plan with Tesla, if it gaps up above 321.95, the trade is off. If it doesn't, the game plan is good to cancel buy stop limit order at 321.95. Up and through 321.95, I get long Tesla. First cut loss level right here. This low right here for me, that's going to be, where's my test? 309.25. And then my personal final stop for now is going to be the low of this update with the green bop. Now, if the session before had green bop in it, I would use that low. But for now, that's my low, 296.10. If you want to throw your whole account into it, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, hey, awesome. If it works, you're golden. If it doesn't work, there's your uptrend line. It's basically even with my very first stop loss level. You're not going to lose that much. You're going to lose right around 2% of your account capital. Remember, you never want to lose more than 1%. So if you would do 100% using the 2%, because you got to risk at least 2% on this to know that you're wrong, which means no matter what, the most you would be putting into this trade would be 50%. And like I said, there are times when I do put 20% of my capital into a stock, but it's not when the market is moving higher like this and is extended. It, there's normally more volume in the market. We're more near support levels and the Russell 2000s leading. And I got way better looking charts and my time segment volume indicator on a longer time frame confirms. But we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. For those of you that are members of BigWayTrading.com, I'll see you in the chat room Tuesday morning. Hey, everybody, if you can help me out so I know to keep making these videos, give me a thumbs up, a retweet, a reshare. Leave a comment if you have any questions. 
I will answer them as soon as possible. Aloha.